you know, when I was growing up, this reminds me, my parents never had music albums. They had comedy albums. And this was before comedy was a, was even a, a, something you thought you would do. There was like maybe 15 comics and you'd see them on game shows. Yeah. Or right. Griffin and the Night Show. Yeah. But if there was a comic on TV and we were in bed already, my dad would yell up, hey, there's a comic on TV. You can come down, but then it's right back to bed. Oh, no way. So, yeah, so our uh, laughs were very big. My grandfather, when we'd go to his house, he'd always be on his porch swing, swinging, and he always had a joke. So laughter was always something people, I had friends who wanted to come over for dinner in high school. And they tell me now, the reason we wanted to, we never ate. We were laughing so hard at dinner. We could never eat. My dad was a lawyer and he would, uh, let me tell you a quick story about my dad. You'll see yeah. the kind of guy I was raised by. Uh, in his eighties, he had a cerebral hem hemorrhage. He had a stroke and was rushed to UCLA intensive care. And they gave him till about noon to live. My daughter called me. She was at the house when it happened. I drove there. We got there and he went into a, and, and for, he was, a, we kind of communicated with touch and stuff for a very short time. Asked him whether he wanted to fight, you know, and dance right. again. And he basically with his movement said, yes. He went into, and then he went into a six week coma. And the doctors told us, if he ever comes out, he'll be a vegetable. He won't know who he is. He won't know how to talk. He won't know how to read. You'll have a big baby. And after six weeks, he opened his eyes. They also said it was the worst brain hemorrhage he'd ever seen. He was draining out of his head for six weeks. Then one day he opened his eyes and he looked around. It was like a, a computer was rebooting. And we waited for it to look like he was kind of cognizant. Right. And my sister leaned over. We hadn't talked to him. We didn't know if he was in pain. And so my sister leaned over and said, Dad, are you comfortable? And he said, coming out of a six week coma, eh, I make a nice living. <laughs> <laughs> that's this first line out of the True coma, story. that's the best. True story. Are you comfortable? Really? Eh, nice living. That's hilarious. That's the best, and man. What so explains he still he had to fight back for a couple of years before he was no longer with us. Right. But he kept his sense of humor, but it was it was amazing. But that's the kind of guy that raised me.